So you've got icons all over your desktop. Did you know you could resize them and even hide them? Stay tuned to find out. All right, so there's two camps of people out there, right? Those that have icons all over their desktop and those that don't have any. Typically, this is what I see. You know which one you are, but if you're the one that has them all over your desktop, uh, you might want to do something about that, right? You might want to make them smaller so you can fit more icons out there, make them bigger uh, so that you can see them a little bit easier or even hide them, right? You get that meeting coming up, you're going to share your desktop and you're really embarrassed. So you want to just hide them real quick, but not get rid of them and bring them back. I'm going to show you how to do that. So take a look at my screen here and I've got a few icons scattered across my desktop. And the first thing I want to show you is, you know, that you can rearrange your icons, right? Uh, when we talk about our desktop icons, which are simply shortcuts to other locations on our PC, we can click and drag on these guys and we can move them around to wherever we want. So I know people that like to try to arrange them around their particular background or something like that. But what you'll notice is it, it kind of seems to pop into certain locations. And that's because by default, it's going to arrange to what's called a grid. There's a hidden grid system that you don't see and all the icons are going to pop into those little squares of that grid So you can't get it exactly where you want you want to change that right click on your background and then go to view at the top and choose you'll see the option here auto align icons to grid that's on by default click that to uncheck it all right let me zoom back out and now you will notice I can put these icons anywhere I want Right? There's no more popping into a particular location. So whichever one works for you, go ahead and set that. You'll also notice there was another option in there called auto arrange icons. Right? And if you simply want to dump all of your icons over to the left hand side of the screen and kind of crunch them all up because you've kind of scattered them out and now you want them all back, you can choose auto arrange and it'll pop them over there for you. You lose the ability to kind of move them. See if I drag it and let it go, it pops right back into place. So maybe you want to do uh, the auto arrange option as well. I'm going to uncheck that for now. So you can move them around, you can control how they snap to the grid, and you can also have them all kind of auto arranged for you over to that left hand side. What about resizing them? Right? And it's pretty straightforward. If you right click on your background, and you go back to that view menu, right up at the top here, you're going to see you have three options. Large icons, medium icons, which is the default, and then small icons. So if your icons are too small for you, and you want to make them bigger, click large icons. And you'll see that the icons go up in size. And let me move some back out uh, to the middle here so we can kind of see them. All right. If I go back in here, view, and choose small icons, you get really teeny tiny. So now they don't take up as much space on my desktop, or I can fit more on there if you're one of those that likes to have them plastered all the way across your desktop either way. So you can control that, and you're not stuck with those three options. Those are the three options you have by default. Little known trick, what you can do is you can hold down control while you scroll your mouse wheel. And you notice my icons are slowly getting bigger and bigger and bigger and they get a maximum size that's about as big as I can go with that it'll stop getting any bigger and you can do the same thing if you click hold down control and scroll down on your mouse wheel I was scrolling up to make them bigger down on my mouse wheel makes them smaller and teeny tiny and notice I can get much smaller than I did with the small medium and large option so there you go if you want to fine-tune that size of your icon to where they're just right for you Use that control wheel or that control and then use your scroll wheel on your mouse to resize them to where they're just right. All right. So this is one place and really the primary place we deal with icons is on our desktop. But there are a couple more places I wanted to point out to you where you can change the, the, the appearance of your icons. And one is the taskbar and the other one's going to be in File Explorer. The taskbar running right across the bottom of your screen down here, if you've left it in the default location, you can move it to the side and the top, of course, uh, has buttons on it. These are icons as well. All right. And if you have a lot of programs pinned to your taskbar or as you open up more and more applications, right, they take up room on there and it starts to get where there's not enough room for all of your icons. You can make them smaller by right clicking on your taskbar and choose taskbar settings. And here there's an option right here at the top to use small taskbar buttons. You can guess what that's going to do, right? I'm going to turn that on and you watch my taskbar buttons while I turn it on. Notice how much smaller they got, right? My taskbar itself shrunk a little bit because I don't need it to be so big with those smaller icons and all the icons. The ones over on the bottom left, 
right, as well as my system tray icons over there on the bottom right. They all got smaller, which is going to give me more real estate, right, more desktop space to where I can maximize that video and watch that video or whatever the case may be. Or maybe you just like it small and less obtrusive down there, right? So simply turn that switch on or off to control the size of your taskbar icons. So that takes care of the desktop and the taskbar. The last place I want to look is in File Explorer, right? So I've got File Explorer open down here. Uh, you guys would normally uh, you know, go to your Start menu and, and go to um, uh, this PC or My Documents or what have you. Anyway, open up File Explorer. And I've got a folder with pictures just because it'll show the example a little bit better. But this could be files. It could be anything. And the same trick we used on the desktop can be used in here. So first of all, up at the very top, I have my view menu, right? And if I click on that, I have a whole bunch of options here. I'm going to hit this drop down list and see if I can make that a little bit bigger. There we go. So all of these have to do with the view, how I am looking at these icons. Some of them aren't even icons. They're more of a list or details, which you might prefer depending on the file type, right? Icons are nice for images, for documents and Excel spreadsheets. You might want details, right? Details gives you the name and the date of created and things like that. For us, for images though, we've got these four across the top, small, medium, large, and extra large. So when you got that folder full of pictures and you want to see those pictures without having to click on each one, you can choose that extra large and make them a little bit bigger. Now I can work with these a little bit easier. I can kind of tell what that is a picture of, all right? But just like we did on our desktop, we can actually use our control scroll, right? Hold down control and use your scroll wheel, right? And you can make these smaller and larger. And again, there's a limit to the size. So as I scroll down, Right, it keeps getting smaller and smaller, and eventually it's going to turn into the list view and the details view because it's not going to do a, an icon quite that small. Uh, and the same thing with large. Eventually you get to the, the largest that it's allowed to show uh, for those icons. But that allows you, again, to, to customize your interface to allow you to see and work with those icons a little better. So hopefully this helps you look at your icons, your desktop icons, your taskbar icons, as well as your icons inside File Explorer. Resize them, even hide them if you need to. So make sure you uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more content like this and check out some Windows 10 training on ITPro.tv.